Hey guys, Michael from Best Book Bits, and it is 2.28 a.m. Saturday morning. Just woke up, sun got into bed, and here we go. Bit of a book tour. So, g'day guys. Here is the studio. I get a lot of questions asking about, I'm sorry, so I just woke up, had four hours sleep, I will get back to bed soon, but uh, I got a question on the YouTube the other day about my bookshelf, and so I want to do a quick book tour. So, here we go, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, fans of all ages, I bring to you Best Book Bits HQ, what's in my bookshelf? So here we go. Um, there is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, 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 four is a 16. So 16 spaces in the bookshelf with an average of about 12 books in each. So what we're going to do, I will go through each particular shelf and uh, then what I'll do one day when I wake up and had a coffee and start the day, I'll get all the books out. And I'll go through them individually and we can talk about them as well. So I spent last night uh, putting this together in about 30 minutes. So I'll pop through a photo and do some editing on this video. And yeah, sorry, I just woke up, but I uh, thought I'd bang out a quick video. So back with the bookshelf and uh, a little bit of a tour. Here we go. So starting from the left over here where my finger is there. Psycho Cybernetics by Maxwell Maltz, an amazing book that I've read Many years ago, there is a book summary on our website. We've got Chicken Soup for the Soul, which again is one of the all-time classic books from Jack Canfield and Mark Victor Hansen, who have written numerous books and have planted numerous trees with funny stories because they've sold tens of millions of copies of that book. We've got Norman Vincent Peale, The Power of Positive Thinking, which is a classic, absolute classic. The Essence of Success by Earl Nightingale, another one I've done a summary of. Check that out. Here's a book I have not read, but I picked it up from a op shop, which is called Believe and Achieve. Okay, so here's the two that you have to study and have to check out. Really, really small books would take you probably an hour each to dissect they are oh by the way that's that's myself and my lovely wife many years ago all right as a man thinketh by james allen so absolute classic i've done this summary on the best book bits channel which you can check out and the stranger secret by earl nightingale as well really really quick easy book and i think i finished that book a while ago and I normally write in the back of the books when I finish them. No. Okay, so there's two to check out. Another one. So The Magic of Believing by Clyde. Is it Clyde? So let me just check here when I finish that. Okay, so finished. 31st of the first 17. Believe and it's yours. So amazing book. Check it out. The magic of believing. If you don't believe, well, you don't believe. The 4-Hour Workweek by Tim Ferriss. Another fantastic, amazing book. If you have not read it, definitely recommend to read it. Again, I think I finished this quite a while ago. Sorry about this. I can edit all this out. This is just 2.30 in the morning on a Saturday. Oh, Timmy boy. Did I write in here, Tim? If you know Tim Ferriss, I'd love to know him too. So send him my details. I've done a few. Oh, there we go. Finished 13th of the 3rd, 17. And there's the goals. We are in 2020, and I have not completed to work two days a week. Instead, I'm working about 100 hours a week. Thank you, Tim. Uh, just a little bit of a side note on that particular book. Tim wrote the four hour work week, not with that book title, but the reason he did that book title um, was to polarize people and it worked and succeeded. And one of his things he said on a podcast was if he went back, uh, he probably would 
Um, change the title, but uh, you can't change it. So the the four hour is his particular uh, niche. I think what I'm going to do, I think I'm going to stick with this little shelf here and we'll come back and go through the rest of these shelves later on or we'll be here for a couple of hours. So let's do it. Let's dive in. So four hour work week we've done, The Stranger's Secret, The Magic of Believing and also James Allen as a man thinketh. What do we have next? We have Living with a Seal. Now, if you don't know Living with a Seal, get to know it. Amazing book. Jesse Itzler, who is a multi, multi, I think he's a billionaire now. Anyway, amazing guy, amazing dude. Let me make some space. And if you know this guy here or don't know him, you definitely should. It will change your life. His name is David Goggins. Yes, the original OG, David Goggins. Check out my um, book summary I did. It's an amazing book. It's more of a journey of, um, I think it's 30 days, where David goes and lives with Jesse and Sarah Blakely, who's the owner of Spanx. Got a lot out of this book. It's amazing. Also, shout out to my friend uh, Matt on the YouTube channel. Uh, Matt, I'll put a bit of a link here. Probably forgot what he does. But he's done the David Goggins Challenge. Again, fucking Goggins. Now, the reason I say fucking Goggins because it is one of the number one books. Hang on a sec. Who is that? That's Mr. Phenology. Is it called Phenology? Tell me in the comments if it's not. All right. So... I'll get to this one soon. But David Goggins, Can't Hurt Me. Wow, what an amazing book. Best book I read. I think I finished it last year, early last year. Let's have a look. Yeah, three days read, fucking beast. Uh, I think I've done the summary and it's... Uh, you could say it's gone viral, I think. You know, I've got uh, 15,000 uh, hits on the... Um, I think Spotify and maybe 20,000 on the website, but only a couple thousand on YouTube. But the message is out there. It's an amazing book. Yes, I am wearing um, my morning get up, so don't judge me, don't hate me. But yeah, can't hurt me. Yes, you can't. Read that book. It will change your life. Uh, I am going to read it again because I am going to do a six kilos in six weeks and lose the ISO fat, as I call it. So check it out. Amazing. Let's go. Next one. We've got How I Raised Myself from Failure to Success in Selling by Frank Betker. A classic, absolute classic, written many years ago and endorsed by Dale Carnegie. Okay, where are we? I think I finished this in 216. There we go. Sold a car, sold one car for the month. Let's see what sold what sold one. Oh Jesus Christ! So uh, people that don't know me, people that do know me, uh, I sell Mercedes Benz, and uh, yeah, been in the auto industry about thirteen years. So don't judge me. Yes, I am a car salesman um, at this point in my life. But what do you do? Comment below. All right. So Pat Wiley, the winner within. Okay, I think he's a basketball coach. Cool book. I think this is a summary. Okay, one of my favorite books in the world is The Seven Habits of Highly Effective People by Stephen R. Covey. Now, um, yeah, it's a classic. Check it out. It's on the website. Done a summary for it as well. Um, absolutely amazing. Talks about putting first things first. I will do a little rant books where I'll just grab it and we'll talk about it for five minutes. But uh, I want to know what you have to think about the book. So, yeah, Stephen R. Covey. Seven Habits of Wholly Effective People. Uh, all the good ones die. If you know the story of Stephen A. Covey, he's got a lot of children, and he went for a bike ride, and he fell and hit his head, and he died. So, really, really sad. Um, Zig Ziglar. Amazing. Absolute amazing. Check his videos out if you haven't heard of him. He's got the best voice in the world. Funny guy. Super funny. I read this book a while ago as well. Oh. A quote, life is a classroom. Only those who are willing to be lifelong learners will move to the head of the class. Wow. Okay, my number one book on YouTube. Now, look, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to be honest with you. I didn't know it's going to be my number one out of 600. So if you go to Best Book Bits on YouTube, you will see the secret 
is the top. Now, I don't know why. Um, it's a cool book, Rhonda Byrne. She is Australian, so shout out to Rhonda Byrne, who is Australian. I bought the book for nine bucks, and it is, again, I'm gonna stop saying a classic, but you know what? It is a classic. I'm sorry. Do you believe in the secret? Do you not believe in the secret? I don't mind if you do or don't. It does work. He is my mentor. Here we go. Jim Rohn. I will do a video series on Jim Rohn, but he is probably the best number one personal development guy in the world. He's Tony Robbins' guru, and then a lot of people are Tony Robbins is their guru. So Jim Rohn is the guru, but he's a little bit of background. He was just a regular American folk, and his guy or um, guru was Earl Schoff. So uh, check him out. Earl Schoff was just a behind-the-scenes guy, and he changed his life. And then Jim Rohn changed Tony Robbins' life. And then Tony Robbins changed millions of people's lives. So it is a circle in personal development. And the last one, so Keys to Success, yeah, amazing book. So it talks about for good communication, you have to have an understanding of words. Understand that words are godlike in power. Wow. Seven Strategies for Wealth and Happiness by Jim Rohn. And let's get a quote. It's hard to keep that which has not been obtained through personal development. I believe so. All right. And the last one. Huge. Amazing. I read this on a plane uh, coming back from Thailand. The Magic of Thinking Big by David Schwartz. And another quote. Build confidence, destroy fear through action. So again, build confidence, destroy fear through action. How very, very true. And when did we finish this? And then we'll be over with that little, uh, here is my bookshelf by Ty Lopez. No, I'm joking. Okay, so that's section one of the bookshelf on best book bits. We will go through it, but just while we're here, really quickly, some more original personal development. Um, talk about my journey on digital marketing, which I've just started out, so it's pretty fun. Um, all my journals, all my notebooks, we'll go through that on a video series as well. Uh, some of the books that I've written as well, back in 2007, Wisdom of the Time. So yes, my book is coming out, and I'll go through some of the video series that I'm planning on doing. And I did a video last night called Three, oh, let's have a look, Three Types of People. So yeah, you will see that coming out shortly. Okay, back to the bookshelf. So we got the Cities book, which is great. I will spend some time going through this, the Chronicles of the 20th Century. That is very special to me, that book. Some books on money. We've got The Barefoot Investor, Robert Kiyosaki, a couple other authors, Grant Cardone's in there. Um, just did a book summary in this one here, The Best That Money Can't Buy by Jack Fresco, which I will be showing you soon. Um, some other books through here as well. We've got Thought Leaders, and we've got Tom Butler Bowden. So I am starting an interview show, which is um, just going to be pretty raw and uncut. It's going to be a chance for you guys, the audience, to ask authors questions. So Tom said, yeah, he'll come on the show, so I'll get him booked in. Um, that's going to be fun. I will shave, I will get a haircut. The hairdressers are closed in Melbourne, so I haven't had a haircut for six weeks. Put on a bit of weight, so don't judge me just yet. Um, you'll see the best side of me in the future. Bit of spirituality, here we go. We've got, again, we've got Osho, we've got Kyle Cease, bit of Wayne Dyer, Deepak Chopra, uh, bit of Wayne Dyer again. A couple other things too, we've got Ram Das, we've got uh, some some yogis in there as well, we've got Eckhart Tolle, we've got um, Dalai Lama, a couple other bits and pieces. Ah, look at her, Brend, Brene Brown, what's she doing in there, little cheeky girl? Um, going across, we do have some weird books here so are you into aliens are you into conspiracies i know i was yeah we'll mix up some uh the ritz have you ever been to the ritz oh no i have i did live in london in wimbledon so if you're from london uk shout out love to hear your story i'll tell you mine another day uh mexico went to mexico and san francisco for the honeymoon yes i am married sorry ladies um i am married sorry that's a joke L. Ron Hubbard, yes, I'm not a Scientologist. There are novels at the back there, so I've got lots of other books at the back because it is a small bookshelf. This is going to be a longer video. Apologies. 
Health. All right, you can't go past Arnold Schwarzenegger. The Encyclopedia of Bodybuilding. Wow, what an amazing book. So, the gym, gyms have been closed in Melbourne for six months. So I haven't been to the gym in six months. So I do love the gym. Uh, you'll see my return journey when the gym's open. So six months, no gym. So that's uh, it's not good. It's not good. All right, going across some other books as well. We've got... Edward Snowden, Robert Greene, heaps of great ones as well. Down there, just a couple of dictionaries and some bigger fat books that don't fit on the shelf, like the classic car book, which goes through classic cars. As I said, I am in the car industry, so there is a little bit of passion. Another big one called Hidden Treasures of Antiquity, which is, again, I love ancient stuff and history. And there is a we call these coffee table books in Australia, which is the travel book. So tell me where you're from in the comments. I'd honestly love to know. Um, yeah, I've traveled the world a little bit, uh, but still a lot more traveling to do. Once COVID-19 finishes up. Okay, going through. Yes, I am Australian. So if you're Australian too, I'd love to know where you're from, what you do and connect and network with you as well to be blunt and honest here's a couple cool ones greatest buildings in the world and the hundred greatest explorers if you're from australia you know the underbelly and we've also got some alien stuff there as well wayne carey if you're a footballer yes if you're australian i do go for the kangaroo so to apologize if you're an essence supporter but hey management marketing quotes world atlas guinness book of records which is cool i like agriculture as well so yeah studying that yeah that's it what else we got oh wow here's a fat one we got david ike love him or hate him wow he has written an absolute beast of a book i haven't dug my teeth into it yet because i'm actually quite afraid and this is the um his his body of work for what the lie that changed the world, and who really did it? Controversial. We've got a bit of Zachariah Stitchin, Bob Hopkins. The Rise and Fall of Great Powers. Wow, that is a fantastic book that I have not read yet, and it's 600 pages. So what are these books I haven't read? Um, Graham Hancock, I think I started that. Watched all these videos. And yeah, that, that's it. A couple hidden ones from the back there as well. That's it, guys. I think I'm going to stop the video there. I'm going to go back to bed. What is the time? It is 2.47 a.m. Saturday. And if you think it's daytime, mate, we're in Australia. Look at that. It's dark. And that there, guys, is uh, the wrap on my bookshelf. So... Comment below, tell me what you think, and if there's a book you want to do a summary on, let me know in the comments below. Take care, bye-bye now. Hey guys, just uploading the video, and I missed out on a bookshelf I have in the corner here. So, just quickly, um, I, a couple other books, fast asleep. These are the books I'm reading at the moment. I do have some sleep problems, so, yep, got to read that one. Toddler taming. I do have a little boy, so I will show him in other videos and photos. A couple of other things. And this is a great one which I have to read because, again, I'm doing an interview podcast series soon, and that is going to interview authors. And one of them is Evan Carmichael. So, Evan's a. I've known Evan for a couple of years now, probably three years since I started. He's actually the nicest guy you've ever met. It's not fake. Evan Carmichael, check it out. His YouTube channel with over a couple of million subscribers. Yeah, I'm going to do a book summary on that, Built to Serve. I do have a video on there which uh, a friend of mine did on his YouTube channel called Shaywan, which I will do that. Hey, there's my wife. And there is my son. Um, that's an old photo from just one of my properties. I'm joking, I, I don't live there. That's in Adelaide, uh, in Australia, one of the wineries, an amazing wine. I'm a big Shiraz wine drinker. And yes, I do live in Australia and we have massive mosquitoes and mosquitoes everywhere. So um, welcome to the Outback. 
There's a video camera of mine. Oh, another little drawer with bits and bobs. And if you're a fan of Super Nintendo, uh, yeah, so am I. Got to have your comfy explorers that I haven't opened up yet. And um, yeah, some other equipment and things as well. Um, I'm not a fan of Louis Vuitton, but I did buy myself a nice pair of shoes that I haven't worn yet. Uh, I will wear them one day, but uh, they're just there for spoiling myself. And I've got a little soap uh, microphone. Do, 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 do. Welcome to bestbookbiz.com, the home of the world's largest free book summary website in video, written, and audio format. That's it for the little tour, and uh, I'll see you again soon, guys. Take care. Bye-bye now.